people and welcome to December Daily 2023 and today we are starting in Photoshop and you can see me here using a very old template by Cindy Schneider. It is from Half Pack 27. I don't even know if that is still in the Sweet Shop store but if it is I'll link it. But what I'm doing is I am editing this 12 by 12 digital scrapbooking template to fit a 6 by 8 or really 12 by 8 layout. So I just deleted all of the excess layers and then I resized my whole image to 8 by 8 0.25 by 8.25 and then I changed my canvas size only to 12 inches which left me with two halves of a 6 by 8.25 spread and then I'm using um, Kristen Cronenbarrow's brand new collection called Evergreen it's from her new Christmas release to fill in digitally all of the pieces of this template so that I can send it over to Silhouette and print and cut so I'm adding to the template and filling in the template I really love these pine branch sort of numbers she's got in here so I'm going to put 2023 on the bottom of my page now you can see that I have the guide down the center of it to make sure that everything that is going over that guide where it is going to be split down the middle, there's no faces. So obviously my husband's getting pretty close there, but I cut it in such a way that he his face does not get cut in half. But I'm just making sure that the numbers are spread out on either side of that line because that is going to be the physical split of this virtual page. So this is going to be my reason why sort of intro page to this album. I didn't used to do reason why pages, but I felt recently in the last, at least last year, maybe the last two years, that I, I wanted to add in a reason why page, why I keep doing this album, even though my children are getting older. And I'm doing it specifically because my children are getting older and it's kind of harder to capture the magic when you have adult children than when you have little children. So this helps me, December Daily, helps me to sort of capture that magic and stay in the moment rather than getting too grinchy. So I am just dragging and dropping these snowflakes from her kit and I'm actually going to print those out all as one piece um, on the page. So I'm going to send this over to Silhouette as multiple PNG files that are already set up for me to um, print them easily. So all of the different letter layers are going to be on their own layer. All of the snowflakes are gonna be on their own layer. Christmas, 2023, the photo, everything is going to be on its own, uh, not necessarily its own PNG file because I do like to consolidate my prints to make sure that I print as little paper as possible. So I will just create some cut files and there is a link or there is a article on my blog about how to create your own cut files for Silhouette and Cricut. Um, but that is just how I really like to scrapbook digitally nowadays. I like to send it over to my printer in individual layers so that um, I can reassemble it on paper, which is what you'll see me do, and add some dimension that if I printed this all as one image, I would kind of lose a little bit. Even if I add shadows, it's not quite the same effect. Although I will say, I do prefer the visual of a digital scrapbook page. I think the shadows are deeper. You get more, uh, obviously you get more depth from the page, but when it does get printed, it doesn't translate quite as well to the real world as it does on the screen. So I like to send things over and print. So I'm, I'm about ready to move over into real life now. I've resized everything, made sure that I have what I want. I'm just kind of scrolling through the embellishments just to add some finishing touches. I decided that the center of the snowflakes needed a little brad to hold them together. Then I'm going to get rid of all of my layer styles so that the shadows themselves don't print. And then I will set up my cut files and send it over to Silhouette. So while everything was cutting, I think I ended up with four sheets that had to go through my silhouette. While everything was cutting, I decided to use this uh, No Stress December Daily prep page I made with the Citrus Twist Kits Warm Christmas Wishes printable collection, I believe, as my intro page, my reason why page. And I printed out my journaling to go on that tag. I like that it is hidden. It's always a little bit personal 
to me to have a reason why, especially since my reason why isn't like incredibly like overly joyous. It's because of the nostalgia and the the sadness of having kids get older um, and trying to recapture the magic from when they were little. Um, but I went ahead and printed it on there and hid it behind that journaling card and we are ready to go. The next thing I'm doing is um, creating the hinge for the page because this whole page is going to have a, um, a hinged effect. So the reason why page is going to open up into the spread that I just created on the computer. So I am adhering my papers down to this hinge while everything is printing and then I will go ahead and just layer things off of camera just that don't really need too much explanation because they're just going right back to where they were in Photoshop. So that's ready and I've just glued the letters together and the matting for the photo and then I'm also going to uh, cut this down the middle in advance. So I'm not going to try and cut it after it's adhered. That way I can make sure that I got clear of my husband's face and everything will close as well. You can't get too close to the seam of this page because then your page won't close very well. And I still put it down too close and had to rip it up a little bit and fix it. So you can see how much wider spaced out that is now. That's just because when I have so many layers there, in the middle, it gets really thick, and so it had to be a little bit spaced out further than um, I had it before. So I'm gonna use this foam tape that I got from Spiegel Mom Scraps. Oh my gosh, it is amazing. This is big mama roll of foam tape um, that is just so easy to use. It's the, back, the backing comes off, which is amazing to me because I can never get the backing off of anything. And I put it on the back of the Y and the J, and then I realized that these two puffed up letters are going to be right next to, or right on top of each other when the page is closed in my album. But what can you do? December Daily gets chonky. We'll survive. It actually kind of omitted the need to spread those photos out so far because it wasn't going to close fully anyway. So I wish I had thought of that before I put everything down, but you live and you learn, whatever. When I print at home, this paper does not, it is not forgiving the way it is when I print at Office Depot. So once things are down, they are down, especially if I'm using liquid glue, like right here. I'm checking on my computer to see exactly where these trees are supposed to go down. So I'm walking back over to my computer and counting stars just so that I can get it as accurate as possible to the original. And then I'm gonna put down the numbers as well, starting from the outside edges and working my way in, making sure to stay clear of that center seam. Next, I am going to put down the snowflakes and I'm gonna pop them up on the foam tape as well so that they hover above the letters. Uh, they're not overlapping. Well, the foam tape won't be overlapping, just the edges of the snowflake will overlap the letters and that'll give me a little bit more dimension. Now, I could have added more to this page once everything was down, like more real product, but I decided that it looked great the way that it was and I didn't need to add anything special to the page to make it pop. It already is doing its job. I love that big family photo. So I'm just going to go ahead and put down this Christmas word by adding some liquid glue to these skinny, skinny pieces. I wish that I had a fine liner liquid glue, but I don't know if it's just me, but this is the only glue that I have that doesn't like clog up incessantly. Fine liner glue clogs up incessantly to the point where I just don't even bother anymore because uh, no matter what I do, no matter what nifty tools and tricks I have, it still just clogs up. So whatever, I'll have messy glue, we'll survive. So I need to pull up this J just a little bit to stick this C under here and I got it arced very nicely over the page. And the last thing I need to do is add these little hinges that I made, or I guess it's not a hinge, it's a insert for the album that I made. Uh, Citrus Swiss offers clear ones, but I didn't really love the way that the clear ones looked with all of the pages showing through. So I made myself some white ones from a cut file and the cut file will be available on my blog if you're interested in it it'll be free on this 
page that is linked in the description box below. I had quite a few requests to share it and so I am. <laughs> but that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you. If you don't already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Tracy M. Reed. I'd love to see you over there as well. And I will see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.